<laughs> so while I wait for my third night of delivery, I just I just want like food immediately when I want it, but it's that's not an option today. But while we wait for food, I wanted to unpackage, un unbox um, an item that I got in the mail today. So. I just want to highlight small businesses because I feel like it's so important, especially right now, to help as many people as possible and if I can do that, um, I'm going to. So these are more postcards from Etsy. This is from Adoration. Um, her name is Michelle. Came in this adorable packaging. She's got her soft touch business card here. There we go. I'll leave their information down in the description box as well so that if you guys like anything that I show please feel free to support these artists um and yeah and she also have has a handwritten note how lovely is that and then how cute is this tissue paper they're little paper hearts sorry that's my neighbor doing construction on their house um so in the packaging are all these postcards I and also in here is a really sweet thank you card a blank one so that if I wanted to send a thank you card to somebody I absolutely can and there's this lovely paper envelope with it so I'm gonna show you the back of these postcards first so this is very standard, it's got rounded edges which is really nice, it's placed for the address as well as your message, and yeah. So obviously I live in San Francisco, so I wanted to get something that was from San Francisco as well so that if people wanted to use this like on their wall or something like that, um, they can do that for sure. So here is the first one. Probably take it up. Can you see it? There you go. There we go. So that's the San Francisco Art Institute. Um, that's all the way, I think, in North Beach, if I remember correctly. Around there. Somewhere around there. And then the second one is of Alamo Square. And the last one is my favorite, um, which drew me into her store in the first place. So I think I'm gonna get more of these because I like them so much. Um, but this is the Golden Gate Bridge. How cute is that? And they're all hand drawn by her as well, and she's seriously crazy talented. So um, please support Michelle if you can. I can't wait to start sending these out um, to everybody. So in the midst of all of my, you know, house things. When I have to let the paint dry, I gotta do something, so I might as well write some cute postcards. So this is what my kitchen is currently. It's a hot old mess. But my new power drill came in! So um, I drilled in some extra holes so that I can hang more items. Um, so there's some hooks that are in the background up there. And then I haven't figured out how I want to do this wire section, but I'll probably figure that out. And then I've actually painted the ceiling as well as this top area and the ceiling here and some of the wall in this direction because I put too much paint. <laughs> so it's like, shoot, I have to use all of it. But I think, oh, let me show you also. I will show you the fridge later once I've installed it. But I think for today, I think it's all the painting that I'm gonna do, like I can't inhale any more paint fumes, like it's <laughs> driving me nuts. But I tried to recalk the kitchen area and it just isn't working out the way that I wanted it to. So I bought some tools that'll hopefully fix that um, for me and then I can really, really get this area done and completed. But for now, let me show you my favorite part of this whole painting thing. Let's see if it'll... Uh. Uh. I repaint that though.
fix that too. Yikes. I like, maybe I'll finish retouching up this area because some of it bled. God, that sucks. That sucks. The struggle. <laughs> you guys, I'm struggling so hard. Let me show you. So the paint has bled in this area past the tape. So there was probably some bubbles that I had missed while placing down the tape. So yeah, and same on this side as well. So that's not super great, but it is what it is. But these hooks are really nice. Like I'm, I'm can't believe I drilled them in and put them in myself. So proud of that. That's cool. What I'm trying to do is, first of all, I had to make a pilot hole to put in these stupid doorknobs or door knobs, whatever they're. And it's through pretty thick wood. So it took me forever to even just make one of these pilot holes. And I don't know if I want to commit to doing all of them because there's one, two, three, four, five, six seven of them in this cabinet alone and I don't think I want to do that. I might just do five and not do those two top cabinets up there because I don't use them all that often to need to do that. But at the same time, it's like it would make it look unfinished if it didn't. So I don't know, maybe I'll eventually get around to doing it. But as for right now, I'm just going to do the one today and just be done with it because it's so tiring to have to stand there and like go through this fucking wood and because this is also not like a super heavy duty one this was like 20 bucks so it just took forever <sighs> why did i do this <laughs> moment of truth oh my god that took forever please work please work please work Oh my god, oh my god. That looks so good! Look at that! I did that! <laughs> oh, now I have to keep doing it. Lord. I'm so sweaty. Like, so I put in the new fridge and it's huge. Actually, it's actually, it's like, an inch max bigger than it was before, but I feel like because it's on a higher platform and also because it has the two compartments, it feels bigger, but at the same time, it's like it doesn't hold as much in the fridge and I knew that, but still, I wasn't ready for it, but it's fine, it's okay. But, it's coming along. Unfortunately though, I have a screw stuck in here and I'm so pissed off like and it's a strip screw too so like no matter how hard I try to get it it's not gonna come out anymore um so that's great and then when I was peeling off the paint tape this side is fine but it ripped off the paint up here and I'm like gutted like <laughs> I just finished this it's fine I will deal with it if anything, I'm just gonna try to find a pair of pliers to do it because I looked up quotes to get it done and it's like at least a hundred plus dollars to get somebody to come in um, and put everything in the shelves. So I think I might just do it myself because I can't afford another like $150 to do it. But I may just have to find pliers to yank it out. Um, I'll wait till Friday to go back outside, but yeah. And then after the coffee is when I'll finish setting up everything. It just needs the contact paper for the um, cooking area because 
it's prone to obviously like oils and stuff so I want to lay down aluminum contact paper right here as well as right here and then build an aluminum barrier like right here just so this kettle doesn't get dirty so it'll be down here down here and down here it'll be really Asian looking <laughs> At least I can rip it off the wall and then it'll just be easier to clean up versus like having to scrub at grease stains because those just aren't gonna come out of the wall unfortunately so so while clearing the um, leftover residue of some stickers on the door I found out that there's contact paper on this fucking door so I don't know if I want to Recontact paper the door if that's just what it looks like ah, underneath. I just have to see how it is. So we'll find out. Now I know I need leaving to contact paper the door. There's like holes and stuff behind it. So I'm gonna have to redo it. Oh well. Good morning guys, um, it's not even 9 a.m. I'm so tired, <laughs> but uh, the junk guys just came and they picked up everything. That was super quick, super easy. It was a lot more money than I thought it was going to be, but it, just getting it out of here is, it already calms me down so much because there was so much stuff. Like it was two large moving boxes of items plus the mini fridge so it yeah all of it really needed to go so that's done and over with um my neck kind of hurts today so i'm gonna try to take it easy from doing this whole situation um and trying to mitigate that but i don't know what else i can do because a lot of it is just like me fixing the ceiling and like patching it up from um yesterday's paint job so I do need to refinish the cabinet part though because remember when I showed you the paint peeled off when I pulled off the painter's tape. So I need to do read that need to redo that. <laughs> Excuse me. Um but first of all I need to eat breakfast. Like I've been skipping breakfast like every day for the past couple days. Um I think my Items are supposed to be coming in today, or at least one of them. I think the dresser is supposed to come today, so if that does come today, I will build that. And then um, my bed frame also should be coming either today or tomorrow. So I'm gonna wait on building the bed frame just so that I finish the kitchen, that's done and over with, and I can move on into the, the um, main bedroom. And then that means I can do the bathroom last because that furniture isn't coming all the way till May. So I don't feel like putting that pressure on myself to do it all. Um, so I need to figure out what to do with the bedroom and like how to do it because there's obviously a lot of stuff on my walls and um, yeah. But the contact paper for the um, room, for the door, excuse me, did come in, so I might do that today as well, as well as putting together the dresser when it arrives and just having those, so, yeah. And over here for the countertops, I've gone ahead and installed a handle for it. Um, more complications with these as usual. So the kitchen ones still aren't done, but I've fixed the pilot holes that are in there because they were off center. So it's better-ish now. And then I still have to fix this one that's like stuck in there, which sucks, but Oh well, I'll try to fix that when I go to the hardware store, but this is today's challenge. So currently this is the situation under the kitchen sink. Um, I have to take everything out and replace this um, kind of aluminum thing from Daiso because it's not waterproof. So I'll be putting this under the sink mat and hopefully it'll work. And then there's also I bought two of these. I originally should have just bought one, but I think I do actually need the two. But it slides out and I was going to 
put a basket on top of this so that it holds any other miscellaneous items. So there's going to be one on each side um, just to reorganize everything and can't wait to catch some spiders. Love that for me. And I've also installed these drawer handles. Look how much nicer it looks. So, yeah, it's a lot better than the plastic and it suits the rest of like the hardware that I have. So I just wanted everything to match. Dude. Yeah, this looks great. I think it's definitely elevated the look of the dresser and it was only like 80 bucks. So my container store purchase finally came in. There is a giant haul in it so that's great um yeah 